guys, welcome back to the review show. Today we're taking a look at the ASG Dan Wesson 8 inch revolver. So let's get into it. Alright, here's your manual. Just some warnings, some information about the gun, a little catalog with all the revolvers they sell. And that's basically it. Here you have your reel, it's an 11mm reel that goes on top of the revolver if you want. It also comes with a little allen key to uh, secure the, uh, the reel into, uh, into place. Here you have a little pot of BBs, it are AOG BBs. I don't know if these are any good so uh, <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. Here you also have a speed loader for uh, the shells. And of course, the shells itself. So here's the gun itself. Let's start off by checking all the trademarks. Here's your Dan Wesson trademark, also on the other side. Here's your ASG trademark, Kalimeter 6mm BBs, made in Taiwan. It's of paint, so yeah, you can't get it off, unfortunately, but hey, that's okay. Here's another uh, Dan Wesson logo, which is also on the other side. And here's your serial number. Here you have some more uh, markings, in the front it says open and on the back it's, oh let me see if I can focus, here it says open, the middle is fire and to the back is safe, so right now it's on safe, push it forward you can fire it and all the way forward it will open the cylinder. Now to start shooting with this revolver you first need to put in a 12 gram CO2, CO2 cartridge, you simply uh, place your hand on the grip and you wiggle it backwards to reveal the, uh, the cavity where the uh, cartridge goes in. You simply place it in, give it a little room, and secure it into place by winding this, uh, yeah, this wheel. There you go. Then simply slide this back forward, just like that. So once you have your CO2 cartridge in, you press this lever forward and you can open your cylinder and by this you can place in your bullets. You can do this uh, bullet per, per, per bullet but yeah it will take a while so that's why you have your speed loader. <coughs> the speed loader works really simple, you just place the bullets in like this. And then you grab some BBs and push those in uh, in here. Already put some BBs in it, but you will just press them in here. Now to secure the bullets, because now they're still all uh, loose in it, you just press the speed loader and turn it. And now they're secured. So then you go to your cylinder, and you simply put them in, and then press the button, and there you go. Now the gun itself is all constructed out of metal, with an exception for the uh, for the grip. It's uh, yeah, I wouldn't say cheap, but it's just some uh, ABS plastic grip. So yeah, we could have done a, a better job on that. But to start firing, you press this. You make sure this is in the middle, so it, it's aligned with the the F from fire, and you cock the hammer back. Now it's a double stage trigger, so it means every time you fire, you can cock it back. Or you can just simply keep uh, pushing, uh, pull into trigger, so we keep firing. Now, if you want to put the uh, the reel on it, here you have a little hole. Just push this uh, pin out. The side comes up, and you can slide the reel right onto it. So you have an uh, yeah an option for scope or anything uh, what you want. The overall length of the gun is 34 centimeters with an 8 inch barrel and I believe that's 19 centimeters and the gun weighs in at uh, 1 kilo, 1 kilo and 40 grams. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a pretty heavy gun, also it feels really sturdy, although the grip is still plastic but yeah, it's HG you know, so overall they did a really good job, especially on the trademarks and Dan Wesson. And also it's a cool factor that you have the, uh, the cartridges in it. But, makes it just a little bit more uh, realistic. 
Also something I should mention, you have the high powered shells and the low powered shells. These are the low powered shells and the high powered shells have a bit darker uh, brown on the, uh, yeah, what's supposed to be the bullet. I believe these go around 280 FPS and one joule and the high powered go for, yeah, around 500 FPS and a 1.8 to a two joules. So with the high powered shells, yeah, you won't be able to, uh, yeah, use this gun with scrums or indoor games but for outside or in your garden or something like that the high power shells are perfect the gun itself here in europe it retails for around yeah 120 130 euros so it's it's not too crazy for the price point it's a really decent gun it's, it feels really solid it shoots also really well just for me a little downside is the uh, yeah the plastic grip you can even hear it it's yeah it's just just plastic so i hope on the next ones they'll put a yeah a wooden grip or a, a rubberized grip or anything on it or just a bit uh, a little bit more uh, high quality plastic but overall for the price point i think it's a good gun now if you like this review please consider subscribing hitting the like button and i'll see you in the next video